Hi, I'm Lisa from eBiking Today, and today I'm excited to introduce the new generation of Radio Flyer, Flyer Cargo E-Bikes. Enter the Flyer Via. This long tail cargo hauling electric family bike is a game changer. With its massive integrated cargo rack that holds up to 150 pounds, the Flyer Via is ready to take you on up to 50 miles of adventures with kids and cargo effortlessly. Stay tuned as we dive into this amazing electric cargo bike for families. In this Radio Flyer review, I'll show you the pros and cons of the Flyer Via, why you'll want one, and what you need to know before buying this trustworthy family cargo e-bike. And I can't wait to show you how the super long rear rack can carry your precious cargo. I've never experienced anything like it. So let's get started. Pros of the Flyer Via. 50 mile range. Flyer says you can ride up to 50 miles on this capable 500 watt motor cargo bike. However, I rode the first six miles and watched the battery life drop to 90%. So using minimal throttle, pedal assist levels one and two, and occasionally levels three to five on hills, I'd expect to get roughly 60 miles on a full charge. No exhaustion, no sweat. Just think, if you carried two kids or 150 pounds of cargo on a regular bicycle, you'd be exhausted long before you finished a 10 mile ride. The Flyer Via's electric assistance lets you enjoy every moment of your ride without the dread of getting up hills or back home. Weight capacity of 400 pounds. Most electric bikes allow 250 to 300 pounds of payload capacity, but the Flyer Via offers up to 400 pounds total weight, so you'll have no trouble adding both kids and cargo. Ultra long integrated rear rack. The bike rack itself has a weight limit of 150 pounds and is about 26 inches long. In comparison, other rear racks are only around 14 to 15 inches long. You'll see how significant this is when I show you its cargo capabilities in a minute. Efficient all-terrain tire design. These 2.4 inch puncture resistant tires are two different sizes. I didn't feel anything different while riding. In truth, the tires are well designed for hauling cargo. They lower the center of gravity and enhance stability. My test rides were smooth and efficient, even with a ton of cargo. Responsive torque sensor. The Flyer Via's torque sensor is intelligently designed to match your pedaling effort, offering the ideal assistance for a smoother ride. This results in a more natural cycling experience, seamless acceleration, and enhanced battery efficiency, allowing you to maximize your adventures. Not once did I feel out of control or unwillingly shoot forward into traffic. On-demand thumb throttle. I appreciated picking up speed quickly and smoothly, despite the longer body. I reached 20 miles per hour within seconds without being limited by individual pedal assist levels. Hydraulic disc brakes. I wouldn't expect anything less on an e-bike that carries valuable cargo. These hydraulic brakes stop smoothly and efficiently every time. Ergonomic frame and redesigned fork. The Via shines with an uprighted seated position, a higher handlebar, and ergonomic seating and grips. The handlebar grips were comfortable and it was easy to view potential hazards while enjoying my ride. Unique display. The color-coded LCD was a surprise. It provided straightforward control of pedal assist, headlight and taillights and turn signals. It also allowed me to monitor my speed and distance. Front and rear lights with turn signals. These are essential. You don't want to get stuck in the dark on your family ride because it took a little longer than planned. Five pedal assist levels and seven speed gear shift. The Via electric cargo bike offers plenty of speed and power flexibility. I found it essential to downshift the seven speed gears when toting cargo uphill. This made my ride easier, protected the motor and preserved battery life. Now here's what you've been waiting for. The Flyer Via rocks cargo capacity. 
I'm going to show you how to get the most out of the Flyers cargo capacity. First, I hope you'll support the eBiking Today channel by clicking my link to the flyer via in the description below the video. Ready? The kid in cargo hoop. You'll need this to add on other flyer cargo accessories. The cargo hoop serves as a sturdy frame for flyer soft sided cargo carriers. The hoop also lets you add up to two children old enough to hold on while riding. Just add to the seat pads. But more than just taking along your kids or grandkids, you can take a load of cargo at the same time. Check this out. The Kid and Cargo XL Carrier. You don't need a slow moving radio flyer wagon anymore. This extra long cargo carrier is massive. Each side of the carrier can hold up to 55 pounds and still carry a child weighing an additional 30 plus pounds. Let me lay it out. The opening is around 18 by 26 inches. Each side pannier is 24 inches deep and 8 inches wide before it hits the middle rack. And from the rack to the top of the carrier, about 10 inches. If I could do the math, I would. But seriously, look at everything I put into it. And I still had tons of room. You can fit overnight camping gear, sports equipment, or everything you need for a day at the park. Just fill each side evenly so the bike is properly balanced. Carry and go tote bag. This is so much more than a tote bag. It's roomy, soft, and perfect for shopping or carrying equipment for the day. And it's easily switched out with the XL carrier. You can also attach this tote and carry one kid as well. Front basket. What I love about this soft covered basket is that it's all you need on short rides or when you don't have much cargo. I tossed in my sweatshirt and camera equipment and easily dropped my helmet into it after a ride. Even after all the amazing features discussed, there are a few considerations. I truly appreciate it if you'd take a moment to like and subscribe to eBiking today. You'll get more electric bike reviews, news, and helpful information. Now, here are the cons of the Flyer Via. The Flyer Via saddle isn't bad. But I'd like a wider saddle to haul heavy cargo for long distances. Although the tires gripped well on light off-road paths, the Flyer Via lacks front suspension. Thus, if you occasionally traverse off-road paths, I'd recommend getting a good suspension seat post to smooth out the bumps. I pointed you to the one I use in the description below the video. And last, the Via is around 76 inches long. So consider storage space and whether you can transport it in your car if needed. Now, here's what you need to know before buying the Flyer Via cargo e-bike. Unboxing and assembly. I was impressed with the packaging. The Flyer Via was well packaged with multiple squares of ultra thick cardboard, and I didn't find dings, scratches, or bike parts popping out of the shipping box. Although assembly wasn't hard, a couple of unusual steps were needed to put it together. One, you'll have to add a steering spring. Use pliers to hook each side of the spring and ask for help. That spring is tight. Two, even if you don't plan on carrying little ones, attach the running boards anyway. They look sharp and can be used as support for the extra large cargo panniers. Three, if you have a front basket, look at the instruction manual before assembling the bike. The headlight will be attached differently and you won't want to do it twice. Finally, adding the cargo accessories is straightforward, but plan on spending extra time before riding. So who is the Via electric bike best for? First, it's a perfect e-bike for individual riders determined to replace their cars. Riders can run errands, carry equipment, or commute to work with everything they need in tow. And during my Flyer Via cargo e-bike review, I discovered why the Flyer Via is a must-have for families seeking convenience and outdoor adventure. This unique electric bike is more than just a mode of transportation. With its exceptional performance and cargo capacity, the Flyer Via has redefined what it means to ride together as a family. So take your kids, cargo, and promise of happy memories 
and enjoy your ride on the ultimate electric family bike.